Today we're going to look at the current version of the Cybex Pream, a high-priced, luxury-oriented stroller that, though we've covered it several times in the past, we felt it was high time to revisit the model thoroughly with a full new review, having both the benefit of hindsight for how it performs and tends to wear down, and also to take into account price changes on the wider market that I feel alters how it competes to an extent with some comparable models. So let's get started then, looking over the current preem from top to bottom and examining its advantages and disadvantages in terms of child comfort, ease of use, performance and mechanics before ending with a discussion of which uses and lifestyles it may suit, as well as whether we feel it's worth its price. And starting off with some stats, the preem clocks in at just under 13 kilos and folds down to 31.5 by 51.5 by 85 centimeters with the seat attached. It can take 22 kilos in the seat and 5 kilos in the underslung storage basket. When it comes to child comfort, the Pream's Lux seat is highly adjustable, with both a comfortably upright, upright position and a newborn capable full flat recline. Size wise, the seat measures 30 centimeters in width and 105 centimeters in length for the sitting surface, making it one of the longest seats on the market adjustable in this manner, and even with a canopy that's flush with the seat back. That width of 30 centimeters, which isn't super wide, and the lack of a front frame mounted footrest, the Pream will still comfortably seat a child up until around three to three and a half years old or so, while also providing a comfortable reclined position for napping longer than a lot of competing models. As far as other aspects of the seat are concerned, the textiles are well padded, luxurious feeling, and removable, though it does take a little finger strength to mount them when setting up the seat in the first place. The harness has Cybex's fancy one-pull adjustment, and the canopy provides excellent sun coverage. I'm not going to go over the Pream's Lux bassinet today, though, for those of you interested in it, as opposed to just using the seat's lie-flat position for the newborn period, I'd note that we have bought it in as well, and we'll be making a separate review for it within the next couple of weeks. Moving on to parent comfort, the Pream's handle is adjustable in height between 98 and 108 centimeters, while the shopping basket is a bit more oriented towards style than functionality in my opinion, being closed off from the front by its mesh walls and flipping open in the back for access or to increase storage. I know that some people like closable shopping baskets with the idea of it better keeping your stuff from falling out, but personally, I much prefer a wide, open basket for maximizing size and accessibility. When it comes to folding the preamp, the process is easy enough and technically can be accomplished with one hand, though the weight will make this difficult for a lot of people. And the model has a standing fold as well, though the negative aspects of the preamp's fold are that the handle is a bit loose, which can sometimes make it fiddly. The way the handle protrudes upwards from the folded package keeps the model from being as compact as it could be, and the preamp is also not exactly designed to fold as a single piece with the seat reversed, where the seat winds up sticking out from the folded chassis at around a 45 degree angle. That's okay for storing at home, but makes it a bit awkward for fitting in the trunk. As far as the overall feel of using the Pream goes, other than that bit of looseness in the handle, the Pream has a sturdy, dependable feel, and though I know the design as a whole does loosen up over time, as with all strollers, I note that it actually tends to have pretty strong overall longevity, barring accidents. Driving-wise, the Pream is easy to steer and tip, and the model also has decent sized wheels, a little over 7 inches in the front and around 12 inches in the rear, but suspension is limited on the model, making it not the greatest to drive off-road, but still capable of handling rougher urban conditions like most cobblestones, snow, and lighter off-road terrain like dirt roads and parks. Lastly, the Pream also has a two-wheel mode, which can be particularly handy for negotiating stairs, though I would recommend that you keep this sort of use to a minimum, as it tends to really accelerate wear to the chassis, and I'm also a little disappointed that our model didn't come with a wrist strap, which seems to me to be a necessary precaution if using this mode. All right, let's move on to the mechanics of the Pream then, starting off with the handle, folding system, and the general structure of the chassis, where, though somewhat complex, in particular with the internal mechanisms of the handle, the overall design of the Pream's folding system is actually quite strong, involving many metal elements and being built to tolerate quite a lot of stress. And there's also good horizontal support across the model, which is important for protecting against asymmetrical wear to a stroller's joints and mechanisms. And as a result, Though I do tend to see older preamps being a bit rattly and loose, they're often still functional as many as five or six years down the road. 
The seat frame, which is also a bit complex internally, was for a long time the weakest element of the preamp, and I'd like to note here that the current version does feel a lot sturdier and more durable than early iterations of the model. All that being said, one thing that's always bothered me about Cybex Platinum models is that, despite the high price, Cybex doesn't really offer any sort of premium or extended guarantee, unlike several other manufacturers at the top end of the market. And I have had multiple patrons over the years who found it hard to get a hold of spare parts to fix their preamp when problems developed after the two-year warranty period was over. Moving down to the rear frame of the preamp, the suspension is again sufficient for handling bumpier urban conditions, in conjunction with the rather large rear wheels, but isn't quite enough in my opinion to compete with several other models in its size, weight, and price class, including the newest version of Cybex's own, much cheaper Balios. The brakes are the same system that they've had for many years and generally tend not to develop a lot of problems, though a little lubrication is advised to keep the system working smoothly, and I'd add that when problems do occur, such as occasionally the plastic sleeved brake pin snapping, the overall mechanism is pretty difficult to disassemble in order to replace parts. As far as the wheels go, they're well constructed with regards to the rims and ball bearings and such, are acceptably tight within their housings, they're a little loose, but I haven't heard of any serious problems resulting from this. And finally, the tires are of decent quality and tend not to wear down or get ugly too quickly. Looking lastly at the front frame, the front wheels have standard suspension built into the forks, and the preamp does have swivel locks, which are nice for folding, as well as using sometimes with rougher ground. The forks do sit a tad loose in the housings, though they don't feel as bad as on early iterations of the model, making me suspect that this is an area that they've updated over the years. And I'd add to this that, with the benefit of hindsight, wobbling problems with the front wheels have actually turned out to be a pretty rare problem with the preamp. So, should you get the Cybex preamp then? If you live in a somewhat rougher urban setting, preferably tend to get around without a car, and really like the model, either for its looks or for the nice qualities of the Lux seat, then yes, there are no real mechanical reasons not to in any case. The preamp is well built, stylish, offers some qualities with its seat that are hard to find other places on the wider market, and, as the price has risen on many other top-end models around the preamp, while still expensive, it's no longer exactly ridiculously priced in comparison to other premium brands as it once was. At the same time, note that the poorer terrain capability relative to size and weight, a smaller and less accessible than average shopping basket, and a much less protective guarantee are all also negative qualities that are worth factoring into your decision making in my opinion when choosing this model over offerings from Boogaboo, Up a Baby, Jules, or similar competing high-end brands. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.